So I originally made my channel to do some drawing and I did a video on all of my Lego guns, like these things, and um, it's got thousands of views now. Yeah, so, so now I'm going to show you how to make one. So today we are going to um, make this gun. Well, the mechanism of it. Don't shoot mummy. Why? It's a bit more stiff. Okay, so they're, they're on different parts of the cog thing. Yeah. Oh gosh, three. how many are you going for? Okay. I'm only going to shoot three of them, or attempt to. It doesn't have an aim, so... Two bullets shot at the same time. Okay. One of them. Aim was them. pretty good though. I hit them. Okay, so... The first thing we have to do Wait, wait, wait. We have to show people what you've got. Oh, yeah. Do you know what they're called? Uh, not really, but... Okay, so well, this is... Basically the pieces This is the bit, all the bits that you need for the mechanism, yeah? Yeah, the mechanism. Okay. All right. What are you going to do next then, Morgan? So you get the longest one of these with the holes in the middle. And then you get this. Put it through the end and get one of these really thin ones and attach it through the middle once, once it gets to the end so it spins. Then you get the big gear and put it through the middle one and you get another one of these and then put it, put it back on. So you've got like that. Cool, okay. I'm going to learn something here, aren't I? And you get the other one. Actually, no. First you have to build the bottom so you can get the other section on. Like that. Okay. And you get this one, put it through there. Let me see. Where is it going? Turn it around. So it's by one, two, and then the third one you put it through. Okay, so you leave two holes. Yeah, okay, good. And then you put one of these there. And then if you can, you have to move the gear because, well, it'll oh, hit the gear. And then after you get that, you get the small gear. Okay. So now it will turn freely. Oh. And you get another one and you put it on the other side so it's like that with one there and one there facing opposite directions clever i'm and never going to remember this yeah. you carry on though carry on so you put that aside so now we're going to do the next bit so first we need this piece and then we need this piece. So if you put that there with just enough for a one block gap, you can change it. And you put it through the bottom. Actually, yeah, you put it through there. Mm -hmm. And then you get this piece and you dang it. <laughs> And you put this one. Fiddly. Fiddly business, isn't it, Morgan? Yeah. Well, you put it through the okay. stick. Yeah, gotcha. So this one moves around, but this one moves with the axle. Oh, okay, cool. And then you need these. You put this one through there. And you know what? 
let's move this one to the middle. There. What, what was that it the wrong place? I think it was, yeah it was. Okay. Eh. Goodness me. You have to turn it just so it'll get through that hole onto the axle connector thingy. You know, I'm going to lock this one into place with one of them so it doesn't fall out again. It looks like a little robot. Aww. And then we get this piece and put it there. That looks more like a robot. And then we get another one of those pieces and then we put it through like that. Turn it around so I can see all of it. It's Wally. Okay. So we get some more of these axle pieces and put it through there, like that. Okay. And then another one through the bottom one, like that. Mm, okay. And get this and put it there. And another one to put there. And do it on the other side on the bottom. Eva. There. And there, yeah, get in there. We haven't seen Wally in ages. Have we not? Hmm. Anyway, uh, so that's that bit. And then this should fit there. So if you turn it, it will turn that piece. Okay, turn it the other side so we can see where it's gone through. It's gone through one one more hole through that bit. Okay. Turn it around again. After you get that, you want to get this piece and then put it right through the bottom piece where there's so there. Mm-hmm. And then I'll put it back. And then get this piece. And you um, get one of these black pieces and put it through like that. And on the other side, you put another one of the black connector pieces, put it through one up. And then you get that. Actually, there. You sure? Yeah. Turn it around. You sure? Yeah. So if you made it one, two, and then go down, it should be there. Okay. And you get this one. And then, get that thing. and then put it through both of them. And then there's your trigger. That's a very satisfying clicking, isn't it? Turn it around so we can see the other side again. The exact same as before. I know, but you know, for for people like you know me, trying to follow what you're doing. So. Okay, so that's the mechanism. Yeah. And the rest of it is just building the gun. Basically, you get one of these black pieces and put it two under. So right there, so there's one block or one circle gap between that black connector piece. So basically that, if you get a rubber band like this one, and you go over here, uh -huh. when you pull the trigger, it'll come back. Oh, cool. Spring action. Yeah. And so what's the rest then? The rest is just me building the gun. Okay. <clears throat>
you've built a shell around the gun, yeah? Yes. So what, what I don't you're have just... time to make this handle look good, so I just threw a bunch of blocks again and made a brick. It doesn't matter, does it? As long as you can hold it. And you've got this bit at the front. That's important, right? Because you have to put the... Um... Yeah, the, the elastic band, band on there. goes on the front and then you can swing it over and put it on that. Okay. And that's a really stiff around. That one needs to be stretched. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can shoot my penguin. Oh, not cool poo. Oh yeah, that's the reason my handle looked weird before. Oh, the trigger has to go back really far. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is true that the trigger has to go back really far. He lives! <laughs> okay, so what have you done to the handle? The okay. trigger has to go back really far. <laughs> yeah, it does, and it makes it look really weird. <laughs> do it again, do it again. That's why before it went diagonally. Go and get that target that you made in the back there. Mean corpu? Yeah, that target, not corpu. Right, okay. Put it like right at the front yeah it'll shoot right away okay if i put it really far back it'll take a couple times for it to actually shoot oh okay so you can shoot multiple bullets then yeah well do that then if you make the bullets too too well like hard then it will shoot like two or three bullets at a time. Like if I put like a hundred bullets on this, it will go at once. Oh. There. And put that one there. And put that one there. Okay, poor, poor cool poo. Go on then. It's it might go all at the same time. Mm. Success! Okay. Are we done then? I guess. Now let's see how to make this. No way, man. That's way too complicated. Fine. Okay. So, um, are you going to say something to anybody who is watching your video? Sweetheart, I think that's a whole other video. Oh. Uh, well. Here, here. Uh, well, um. Thank the, you, maybe. The handle looks weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching Morgan's video. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>